So why do you go by the name Little Squirt? Uh, so, to quote uh, the first person who gave me that name, it's because I am small, cute, and have a special skill. So... <laughs> what is your special yeah. skill? It's in the name. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I just that's hit your fine, mic. <laughs> Because there's a certain subset of people that don't believe that that activity is real. They think that's just girls peeing. Oh, yeah. That's completely false. Anyone with any semblance of sex education and knowledge of uh, AFAB genitalia will know that that's total fiction. Yeah. How did you first know that you could? You had that special power? Uh, <laughs> as soon as I started, you know, exploring my body, masturbating, I, it just kind of happened. So... Yeah, ever since then, it's just been a thing. It just happens. It's not really something I can control. <laughs> uh, do your partners find it to be exciting or? Oh, gosh, yes. My partners thoroughly enjoy it. It's very validating for them. They sure. love to, they turn into kind of like the bro, like, I can make him a girl's <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Now, I found you, you just left the like puppy play area. Is that right? Yes. Yes, I did. You enjoy puppy play as a puppy or as a handler or how does, how does, you, how do you like that? I enjoy both sides. Uh, depends on what headspace I am. I'm very switchy. So, you know, sometimes I like to be a very cute little puppy, you know, you know, appeal to all the handlers. I'll go up and play with the puppies, play with toys. Other times I like to be a handler. I love to feed puppies. I love to make them do tricks for me. Yeah. I love to make them sit up and beg real pretty. It's so much fun. Yeah. Now a little, little squirt. Uh, do you, do you have any tricks that you do as a puppy? Oh, yes. I love to, you know, the standard rollover. Play dead is always a fun one. <laughs> Every puppy has a very fun way of playing dead. It's very cute. Um, yeah, I also, uh, I'm a show puppy. For sure, yes. Oh, what does that mean? Uh, I love to do tricks. I love to take part in the pageants and the competitions that happen. Um, I haven't been in one of the big ones yet, but I'll be in just a little one called Best in Show up in Seattle. Do a little, you know, fun little puppy scene to a little song called Coin Operated Boy, because of course, so, <laughs> yeah. You, you mentioned earlier, this is your first Folsom Street Fair. How did you become acquainted with Folsom? So Folsom I've known about since I started finding my way into leather and kink. Uh, I first started getting into kink a couple years ago, and you know, as I started looking more into it and researching more, I found Folsom, of course. It's the largest uh, event in the U.S., to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Um, and it's been my dream for a long time to go to Folsom. I've always wanted to go. It seemed like a wonderful place for community and, you know, people who are like me, people who share the same interests as me. You said you're, that the elders told you about Folsom. What are the elders? The, so in the leather community, specifically, uh, there's a lot of respect towards uh, our leather elders, people who came before us who were brave enough to be openly queer and openly leather and kinky in a time where it often was not safe to be. Um, so, you know, it's very important to listen to your elders. It's very important to take what they say to heart. So when they told me, uh, little one, I, they all call me little one. Uh, <laughs> they told me, little one, you should go to Folsom and have that experience and have the most wonderful time. So I came here. I've been learning all the history, and it's been a magical experience. Uh, now, so is, I, I know that people always ask, like, is your puppy play a sexual thing, asexual thing? How does that work? Uh, that also depends on the puppy uh, entirely. For me, not so much. Um, I just like to be cute and small, pretty much, which <laughs> is what it comes down to. It's not a sexual thing for me, um, unless I'm a handler. As a handler, I like to, you know, there's a fun game called Kick the Puppy, where uh, <laughs> if a puppy is a masochist, you know, you just kick him around with your kicking boots. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear. I apologize. I'll leave it out. It's fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not very much a sexual space for me. Um, it's just a fun, cute little thing to do. So a little squirt isn't necessarily squirting while she's doing puppy stuff. Oh, not not then. Any other time, certainly. But. <laughs> Is it, do you do your? Do you live up to your name more with with men or with women, or does it matter? Oh, does not matter at all. Anyone who's cute and has good morals, yeah. <laughs> get a faceful. Uh, sorry. Go get a faceful. Oh yes. 